Hey guys, in this video, finally we are going to take a look at the Android 9.0 Pie first custom ROM for our Xiaomi Redmi Note 5 Pro. And yes, it's the AOSP Pie, which is like compiled from the Google sources, the first source, first Pie Pie source, which was released by Google on the Android Source.com, whatever that site is. So yeah, this is AOSP Pie for our Redmi Note 5 Pro or the Redmi Note 5 AI, which is a dual cam variant. So yeah. Let's take a look. So guys, let me clear this like before starting with the further thing that this is not a full review. This is just a normal video showing you Android 9.0 Pi on your Redmi Note 5, which is the first custom ROM AOSP Pi. So yeah, this is just showing you. I will make a review soon. I haven't used it for a long time. It's just installed. And yeah, I will also be showing you the installation process. So yeah, watch it. By starting with the home screen, we get this normal launcher, which is like a pixel launcher. Let's move into home settings and we get this AOSP launcher settings, which is the notification dot. So you can, and this launcher is quick step. So you can search it for Google if there's something quick step made by Google. And yeah, see these icons really like old like looking icons, really like the Lineage OS has yeah very old icons some um, roms have based on usb so yeah this is how the usb icons are not like the pixel ones not the pixel apps this is the usb google apps yeah why google but in the usb sources which are also the settings ui is the same we don't have the circular ui like google i am surprised like it's the same thing but yeah not the circular ui like the Pi GSI because the Pi GSI are Google Pixel images, the system images. Yeah, but it's Android 9.0 with August 5 patch and it has Derp kernel pre built. So, yeah, it's compiled back in Naring, so it will be Derp kernel as well. Because now, let's take a look at the settings, what options we get. Uh, there's not much of customization is in AOSP, but yeah, new the battery. Go to the battery manager. We don't get that adaptive battery thing. It's just for Pixel, maybe not Android P, but maybe there will be some modules to enable it. Yeah, it is in Android P, but it's not accessible like that. You know, ambient display, we get advanced settings uh, like the hand wave pocket. Let's see if it works. Okay, so the hand wave and all stuff is not working. So it means the pocket and pickup will not also work. Yeah, but new notifications, the ambient display works. So I don't know why is this. Also, we get the font size. We get a four layer stuff. You can just switch anything. Also, the display size, we get a lot of options. Not like the Pi one, the GSI one. You get only the three steps. We have your five steps to like decrease. You got to tap to wake, double tap any on the screen to wake device. Let's see if it works. And yes, double tap to wake works. Also, we have the device theme. You can set it automatic it's from Oreo when device is in VR. So if you use VR, you can edit the setting. Also do the sound, we get some ringtones also. Uh, and these are AOSP ringtones. So yeah, the same old we get in many of the AOSP ROMs and other Oreo ROMs. So it's the same one, nothing else. And we can also install the digital well-being, but maybe I think it's only enabled like you can enable it via the modules. So yeah, this is for the like this is how Android P is just new quick settings. You can just edit it and add some more options. You can see and yeah, you need to manually add them just like clicking on it. It doesn't work. You just need to manually quit this. So yeah, this is how it's Android Pi, the first custom ROM for a Xiaomi Redmi Note 5. Pro or the Redmi Note 5 AI, which is the dual cam variant for, and it's also known as Viret. Yeah, you can also check out the groups on Telegram if you have Telegram app, or just install it. We will get all of the help in there. So now let's start with the installation. So guys, now to install this ROM, you need to boot into your Telegram recovery. So just power off your device and press the volume up and the power button to boot your device into Telegram recovery. Into the Telegram recovery, you can back up your older ROM. Just go to wipe. Navigate system vendor. Yep, everything. Then go to install, and you need to install the both of these files. This is the custom ROM, and these are the bit G apps based in 9.0. And it's yeah, it's 9.0. We don't have now the official G apps, so you need to it the uh, like use the bit G apps or the unofficial open G apps. But yeah, these are the 
most recommended ones and also recommended by the developer so yeah this one so guys the installation got finished and i was actually like the reboot after installation is complete so just after your installation gets complete just press the reboot system and you will get those boot animation after some times your rom will boot up which is the osp pi 9.04 for a xiaomi redmi note 5 y red so yeah that's it for the video guys if you enjoyed this video press the like button if not press the like button yes and enjoy android 9.0 experience on your y red or the redmi note 5 pro or the redmi note 5 ai and yeah bye bye i'll see you guys in the next video bye bye